What is up everyone, my name is Abbas, your Protopy expert, and welcome to part 4 of our tutorials on web transitions. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to do this kind of parallax effect. If you haven't already, please be sure to check out part 1, 2, and 3 of this tutorial series, because we've covered a lot of things, and we might use some of that knowledge here as well. Alright, let's get started. All right, let's go back to our working file, and here... We want this image in the background to have that parallax effect as we scroll. To do this, we'll use the chain trigger. Let's go ahead and add the chain trigger here. We want to chain the scrolling of container 1, which is our original web page. So let's change the value to scroll here. And we want to chain it to BG image, which is our background image. We want to chain the movement so that it moves along with the scrolling that we do. Now we know that the scroll of container 1 goes from 0 to 4196 and we want to move background image. So let's go ahead and select background image here. It's right at the bottom. And we want to move it from a certain position to another position as we scroll. So let's find out what those positions are. Let's click BG image here. We know that it's already at 2304, but we want to see how far it can move. So to figure that out, first I'll just go ahead and lock this container so that it doesn't interact with me touching uh, this layer. And now I'll just drag this guy down. Oops. Select this guy and drag it down. And we know that it's at 3072, which is the absolute edge. So we know that it goes from 2304 to 3072. So let's go ahead and put these values here. So from 2304 to 3072. All right. We also want it to scroll a little bit more dramatically rather than through the full scroll range. So maybe we can put 2048 here so it starts a little bit later and preview what we just did. All right, so this is what we had so far, all these nice transitions. And here we are, the parallax looks super good. It wasn't that easy as pie. Look at that. Now, if you want a more dramatic or a less dramatic parallax effect, you can go ahead and play with these numbers. Let me quickly show you what happens when we make this guy go from 0 to 4196. It's going to be a little less dramatic. So it's still there, but it's not as pronounced as it was earlier. So go ahead, figure out the numbers that you like. For me, I'm going to go ahead with 2048. And that's it. And that brings us to the end of our prototyping journey. So from the start, we've been able to make this nice intro animation. This was covered in part one. In part two, we figured out these animations that happen when you scroll to a specific area on your page. In part three, we were able to pause scrolling vertically and instead focus on this horizontal scrolling and this text and this text transition that happens as you continue scrolling vertically. And finally, in part four, we went over this parallax animation as you scroll. This brings us to the end of our first set of tutorials on web transitions, but we would love to make more. So if there's any questions that you would like to ask us, please be sure to drop it in the comment below or use the link in the description. Until next time then.